How to use the Spotify web player. Spotify is one of the most popular streaming music and podcast platforms around. A big part of that success is the ubiquity of the Spotify app. It's available on every phone, tablet, and computer you can imagine, including web browsers. The great thing about the Spotify web player is it functions exactly like the desktop apps for Windows, Mac, and Linux. The only thing it can't really replicate is playing music in the background, you'll need to keep the tab open. The Spotify web player is not simply at Spotify.com, though you can find it there. The more direct route is to go to open.spotify.com in a desktop web browser such as Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or Apple Safari. The web player technically works in some browsers on Android, including Google Chrome. It also works in Safari on the iPhone and iPad. However, the mobile web player is not as reliable as Spotify's mobile apps. So you should use those if you can. Using the Spotify web player is essentially the same as using the desktop app. To find music and podcasts, you can use the search tab found in the left sidebar. From there you can click the three-dot menu icon to edit details. Bring up the menu for any song to add it to the playlist. All of the recommendations and pre-made playlists for you can be found on the made for you page from the search menu. The Spotify web player is a handy option if the apps have been blocked by your employer or are not available in your country. You'll still need to get past the geo restriction if you want to use it or find content from other countries. To do that, a VPN is your best choice. A VPN simply allows you to connect to a server in a different location so it will appear as if you're browsing the internet from there instead of your real location. There are plenty of great VPN options available today. Check out our guide on the best VPNs to find one for your needs. Whether it's on the web or in the apps. Don't let anything get in the way of your Spotify tunes. Text source, howtogeek.com.